Well, if you joined us today, welcome to the IMD opening ceremony. And uh, I'm joined here today by the whole IMD team. Uh, we have Isabel Sakaria, Claudia Gordino, Ben Liberton, myself, Joseph Shuttleworth, and Eleni Kosari. We're streaming from the Hague Humanity Hub in the Netherlands. We we're joined by Ben in Sweden and Claudia and Isabel from Portugal. Um, just want to welcome you to our live stream. Uh, for the next 24 hours, we're going to be bringing you a huge plethora of uh, microbiology content. Um, if you follow uh, any of our social media accounts or you're watching us there and or you want to navigate to our website, internationalmicroorganismday.org, you can find the full program as a PDF on the homepage um, and you can find out the timings of every session. Uh, we're just going to give you a little bit of an introduction to IMD, the history of this initiative, um, and talk you through yeah a few bits about the day, a few initiatives we had running this year, and then we will commence with our opening opening sessions after this. But yeah, Claudia, do you want to share uh, the PowerPoint slides and we can run through some brief bits of information for you? Hello, good morning from Portugal. I will then share some slides. Please let me know if you are seeing them correctly. I see it, looks good. Yeah, all good. Okay, so here goes a bit on uh, the International Microorganism Day. So as you may know already, uh, the mission of this day is to disseminate and promote microbiology as a area of professional activity and careers, and also to raise awareness among young people, society in general, uh, everyone in the public, that about the role that a uh, multitude of microorganisms play in our lives. Um, the date, so today in Portugal is still uh, 16th September, but maybe somewhere in the world already is 17th September. Uh, this date was chosen because uh, it was the date of uh, the first description of a single cell organism. So this uh, Dutch Anton van Leeuwenhoek, which was not a scientist um, with uh, no, no richness, um, but he was able to develop a system of lens and to observe the first single cell organisms. And this was the day in which he reported uh, this observation in a letter to the Royal Society of London. So here are our little helpers. So we have uh, Saka, inspired of, uh, on Saccharomyces cerevisiae, and Bach, a uh, friendly bacterium, and uh, Gillis, inspired on the fungi Aspergillus. So just to give you a very short introduction on IMD, IMD was indeed started here in Portugal uh, in 2017, um, from which uh, it, was, it was expanded to be celebrated in Europe in 2018. And in 2019, it was already a very global event. So there were, there were commemorations all over the world. And with the, the coming of the pandemics in 2020, uh, we were uh, forced to move online. So if you, if you were there to watch us, we were already also in a 24 hour marathon, such as this year. So the launching was in Portugal, as, as I told you before, it was here in uh, Pavilhão do Conhecimento, which is a home of a, it's a science center. Uh, and there were a lot of uh, exhibitions. You can see here some pictures. Actually, Professor Isabel is there in some pictures with Bach and Saka. Uh, it was a great day. Then, uh, while she was um, the, president, the president of the Portuguese Society of Microbiology, uh, in 2018, Professor Isabel made uh, an extreme effort to expand the word on International Microorganism Day and was able to reach uh, several microbiological societies and other organisms with the help of FEMS, and we were able to make uh, IMD truly a global event. Uh, so we we started in 2018 our presence in the, in the social media world with a Twitter and the website, uh, but then we invested a lot in social media and this allowed us to become truly global. So now we have a, we have a Facebook account, an Instagram, a YouTube, all with a unified name into into Micro Day. So if you don't follow us yet, please do. 
Um, and also contributing to our dissemination through the world was the, the micro art competition. Uh, so it's already its uh, third edition. And this year, 2021, we also launched a mascot art competition to find a, our fourth mascot for IMD. So here I uh, pass the word to Joe to tell us a bit uh, about last year's marathon. Yeah, you can all hear me okay, right? Yeah. Good. Yeah. So last year, as I'm sure everyone's aware, we weren't able to do any physical events due to the pandemic. Um, and so to kind of fill this space, uh, we decided to put on a marathon 24 hour long live stream, which we're repeating in a different form this year. Um, but yeah, the, the live stream went on for 24 hours. There were 58 speakers. You can see here a picture of the opening ceremony from last year. Um, we had the mascots join us in their costumes. We had some live microscopy. We had scientists from all over the world and uh, all streamed from a central Zoom call to different social media channels. People hopped in and out from different time zones across the entirety of the stream. And it was great fun. And uh, we had so many wonderful faces and wonderful talks come together to spread and celebrate the joy of microbes, which is again, why we're here today and tomorrow. Um, if you take me to the next slide, we have a few analytics from last year. So in the small period of time around the actual live stream on International Microorganism Day, 17th of September, 2020, uh, viewers streamed over a thousand hours of video during that time. And uh, we had, yeah, four chunks of the live section, four sec uh, of the live stream, four sections. Um, and it's quite hard to know exactly how many viewers because, you know, people watched on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, on the homepage. But we had somewhere between 1,000 and 7,700 uh, viewers, uh, section two being our most widely watched section. Um, you can see here a little bit of uh, data on the kind of like percentage where people watched it. Most people watched it in some form on the YouTube channel, at least in terms of the watched time, but we had far more individual viewers on Facebook and Twitter coming for sort of like micro content. Um, and you can see, yeah, the average watch time on YouTube was much longer than on the other social media channels. People seem to settle in and watch it for the entirety of a session. Whereas on Facebook and Twitter, people would catch little bits of the stream and a few segments of the talks. So yeah, how many viewers exactly? It's hard to know. All the different social media channels measure different metrics, but yeah, several thousand people for sure were there watching and enjoying our content. Hopefully many more this year. Do you want to take me to my next slide? So this is uh, the hashtag data for International Microorganism Day. And this giant spike in the middle is actually the 17th of September. And you can see across the six months uh, preceding, uh, well, three months before and three months after IMD, we gathered around yeah over 12 million impressions. Over 4 million people saw the hashtag, 52,000 engagements, thousands of users actually using the hashtag, and yeah, nearly 6,000 individual posts with the International Microorganism Day hashtag. So if you're following today, use the hashtag in your social media posts, tweet about it, post on Facebook, Instagram posts, even TikTok posts if you're on that platform. So yeah, let's try and get as many impressions with the hashtag uh, out over the next couple of days. We have the next slide. Yeah, so here's some just social media stats. We have some small but growing social media accounts, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and also Instagram. Um, we can see that in terms of the countries on our Instagram, it seems to be Brazil, Portugal, UK, US, and India. Uh, huge uh, following of uh, women versus men. And uh, yeah, thousands of impressions from all these accounts. And uh, we really want to grow the YouTube channel, which is where all the recordings from the live stream end up. So we have a few, nearly, nearly 200 followers, but if you subscribe to the YouTube channel, you'll get the first uh, notifications when all of these videos get put on the YouTube channel. So uh, yeah, follow us on these accounts if you don't already and find us there and you can message us and post about us and talk to us there. Um, yeah, so this is kind of some website statistics. So last year we built a new website, which you might be watching the live stream on, internationalmicroorganismday.org. So tons of wonderful blogs. We have education resources. There's a social media pack. There's a gallery of illustrations and pictures from previous events and some new content there we're going to talk about later. Um, if you look at the countries where people are visiting our website from, you can see uh, we have a spread of countries from every continent on the planet, a few really engaged countries like Japan, India, the UK, Portugal, Spain, Germany, Netherlands, Brazil, and US. But you can see that, yeah, every area of the world, some people are coming to the website, which is great. Good news is that even though 2021 
is not over and we haven't even had International Microorganism Day yet. We've already had more visits and more visitors this year than the entirety of 2020. So lots of lovely traffic. We encourage you to go there, submit blogs to us, read blogs on the page, enjoy the content we put up there for you. It's a great place to get all of your IMD uh, content and enjoyment out of the web. Um, yeah, a few things to point out uh, if you're a real, uh, you know, microbe aficionado or even a teacher or an educator, uh, we have a really active blog full of like articles and blogs about tons of different microbiology, tons of interesting stuff there. You can write to us if you want to submit blogs. We also post news about our developments of the day and about things like our live stream and different initiatives we have. But we also have an education resources section. And last year we posted two education resources to, for the use in schools by teachers or to do at home uh, about making sourdough bread and also building your own Winogradsky column to look at kind of microbial ecology in a small space. Uh, and this year we published two new more ones. So they're just on the website as of today. And I think last week we've got making yogurt and making making agar plates. So if you want to make your own yogurt out of milk, follow this one. There's a beautiful illustration there that takes you through all of the various steps you need to make yogurt at home. And then making agar plates as a really handy set of simple instructions for making your own agar plates to uh, grow colonies of microbes from, you know, inside your mouth, from your garden, from your home, to just kind of get an idea of what kind of microbes are living in your space. Uh, so yeah, you can download these on both of the, uh, all four of these education resources now. And uh, yeah, bring them into school if you're a teacher, get the kids involved playing with microbes in a nice, safe way. And uh, yeah, that's it from me. I think, uh, Claudia, do you want to talk about the mascot art competition? Yeah, sure. So this, as I told you, this year we run uh, our first mascot art competition so that we can find a fourth friend uh, to our mascots. And it was a great success. It uh, ran through one month and we got actually 39 mascots competing to be the next IMD mascot. And uh, these mascots come from uh, 14 different countries, although this number might be high since not every contestant told us where he was submitting from. Uh, so a panel of six judges, so the IMD team, uh, voted independently and elected uh, our new mascot. I'll take this opportunity to show you our top five mascots. So uh, in fifth place, you can find Beefy, inspired in Bifidobacterium, from Elisa Wolfson, who, who submitted from the UK. And then we have a COVID-inspired uh, mascot. So it was Corona Terror. Uh, from Lee from Singapore. Then our actually our third and second runner-ups were submitted from by the same author. So Jordan Bailey from Australia submitted to Rust Spores, the the Rusty and the Tadeus. But our winner was indeed Rizu. So Rizu is uh, inspired in the uh, Rhizobium bacteria. And it was also submitted by Elisa Wolfson. So congratulations to Elisa. Uh, it was a great design. And now we have our mascot family complete for 2021. So who knows if we are joining another mascot for next year. For now, this is the IMD mascot family. So this is it from me. Great. Thanks, Claudia. And just for the remaining few minutes, Isabel, I believe you had some words to say. Thank you, Joseph. And hello. Good morning, good afternoon, or good night to all those around the world who are following this opening session. Uh, this is a borderless online meeting on microbiology, and I'm extremely, but extremely pleased to note that five years after the first edition of the International Microorganism Day, IMD, in Portugal, the day has become a celebration of microbiology at a global level. And, uh, well, I would like to acknowledge the essential role of FAMS, uh, in particular, the very active and competent FAMS office and science communication sector in the internationalization of the day. And, of course, well, my greetings to Claudio Budinho, um, who is, uh, well, uh, an extremely important volunteer uh, of IMD. 
Uh, and people may ask, well, why microorganisms have their international day? Uh, well, uh, we all recognize that microorganisms play a major role in life sciences, of course, but in everyday life and in a wide range of professional activities and career opportunities. Never forget this. Moreover, only the alphabetization and the literacy in microbiology of the society will allow citizens, all citizens, to understand and trust the science and reject unfounded and obscured theories. For this reason, all efforts, among them is the International Microorganism Day, put in the dissemination of microbiology, will facilitate informed choices, for example, on vaccination, use of antibiotics, food quality control, food safety, advanced biofuels, and so on and so on. Well, governments also need to adequately inform their political decisions as became crystal clear for the worst reasons I know during the new coronavirus pandemic. So remarkably, society uh, is now giving value to specialists and disseminators who rigorously make the scientific knowledge understandable, understandable by common citizens, uh, especially in mass media. Well, however, however, beyond COVID-19 pandemic, there are other areas of microbiology where essential and difficult individual political decisions also are needed. For example, Due attention should be given to the exploitation of microbiological resources of interest in biotechnology to promote an increasingly sustainable bioeconomy capable of generating benefits for the economy, the environment, and the society. And this is now a priority, as you know, because time to counteract climate changes is running out and the associated economic and social costs could far exceed those of the pandemic. Also, a better knowledge of the control of the activity of harmful microorganisms allows an adequate response to the challenges they pose to human and animal health, to agriculture, food quality and safety, and so on and so on. Well, certainly there is no lack of reasons to have an international microorganism day. Well, at last, I would like to thank all the speakers who gladly accepted to contribute to these 24 hours of microbiology online, and to thank you for participating in this borderless meeting to celebrate microbiology. Enjoy the meeting. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you very much, Isabel. Um